Hey, um, if you saw the video yesterday uh, when I changed one of these uh, SATA connectors, um, you'll recognise this is the donor board. And one thing I noticed when I fitted that uh, connector to the new board is that I said, oh, it doesn't have like the pins at the ends, you know, like the two outside one end, end ones. And the reason being, when I actually unsoldered, they actually broke off. And part of the pins are actually still stuck in here, but fortunately what was left was long enough for me to fit it onto the new board um but i did comment uh, yesterday i said somebody in, in the comments uh liked the job i'd done and i said you know i'm going to see if i can do this without using anything specialized obviously yesterday i used the uh, vacuum desoldering uh, tool yeah and i know what you guys don't have access to uh, some of this equipment so what i wondered is first of all can we actually clean these holes? That was the most difficult part, was cleaning out the holes, yeah? Can we clean the holes out without the vacuum desoldering tool? Um, and I think, yeah, we might be able to do that. And I've thought of um, two or three different ways we could try to see if we can actually do that, yeah? Uh, so they were too fine, really, for the, the soldering needle. So just using a soldering iron and hot air, uh, you know, solder and flux, uh, and nothing else, a bit of desolder braid, yeah, so basic stuff, soldering iron braid, hot air, a bit of solder, a bit of flux. And I want to see if we can clean the holes out, and we'll do it on this one. And also, I'll see if I can remove another one of these and get it intact. Because uh, if you look yesterday, I put a big blob of solder on here, yeah, trying to get the heat in. And I didn't get it in, this is like, like where the metal frame is at the end, and I think that's why that didn't desolder with the rest of it, yeah. Uh, so let's see if we can uh, kind of clean this up and see if we can clean the holes on the, the scrap board. If we can do it on this one, then you should be able to do it on, a, on, a, on any other board, yeah? Sorry if I was out of shot there, yeah? So, yeah, so I just want to say, if, if you couldn't see it, the blobs of solder were not over everywhere. They certainly weren't over here. This is one of the pins in the metal frame. And that's what effectively snapped off. Uh, but fortunately, you know, we, we ended up with a usable part. <laughs> quite surprisingly but we did um, so let's just uh, get this uh, solder off here yeah so this is now like you know the other board we had which has got a broken connector uh, and the first thing I did if you saw the other one I hope, I hope you did was to extract the broken pins yeah from here which I used uh, tweezers to do that and just the soldering iron um, on that one the pins were rather longer than this so it would be easier but let's see if we can do it let's see if we can do it with what's remaining of the pins on here yeah uh, so first of all can i get enough heat into here to desolder the, these yeah well, it's moving yeah It's moving, but doesn't actually want to come out for some reason. I'll try my other tweezers. Those ones are not uh, not the best. Let's, let's, let's have a dig in here and find the other, other tweezers. One moment. I'll find the uh, the tool that I want. What have I got? Let's try these curved ones. See if these these will do. These like the curved ones, yeah. Uh, new sold new uh, tweezers on the way in the post when they arrive. So what's holding this any? I mean, it's moving. It's moving, but it's not coming out of here for some reason. Let's try and uh, push from yeah. I'm kind of, I've just kind of like uh, basically I've used the solder to push it into the board. Yeah, and while I'm at it, let's try to do the other end as well. Yeah, pushed it down so now kind of like flush, yeah. So hopefully, uh, this this will come out. Yeah, okay, I've got it out. It's on the end of the soldering iron. Yeah, it's not just there, but it's out. So that's one end. Let's go for the other end. Yeah, it, it, it moves quite easily. It's a matter of getting the tweezers maybe under the edge of it. 
Okay. Again, yeah, that one came out. And then it's the remainder of the pins that stuck in the holes here. Yeah. Oh, that just came out. You know, these are not pins. These are like these are like bits of solder, effectively. Yeah. So okay, when I removed the other one, I didn't actually snap any of the pins. I just kind of like lost the two at the end. Yeah. They, they obviously pulled pulled out of the the, the socket. So I could have actually desoldered these if I'd realised what had happened and probably fitted them back in uh, to the socket because they're not. I don't think they broke. I think I think they just literally just pulled out of the out of the plastic socket. This was covered in solder, but yeah. Sorry, I'm off the shot here, guys. Yeah. So I don't think these are these are actually broken. I think they just literally pulled out uh, from the you know the plastic housing of the socket. Yeah. So if I'd realised what had happened yesterday. I could have extracted those off of just done and we could have just stuck them back on in yeah okay so that's that so now question is can we clean the solder out of these holes without using the vacuum desoldering tool yeah and there's a couple of different ways i've thought of doing this so let's let's try so first of all i'm going to add leaded solder yeah and i'm going to do it from both sides so let's come to the other side this is already probably got leaded solder on anyway. Yeah, there's fucks on it, so that's okay. Right. The big holes, those were easy to do with the solder braid. So let's do those first, yeah. Just a bit of flux, and those I think I've now got dispensing again properly. Yeah. Well it still feels a bit gooey. Let's see what we can do with this, yeah. So That one's clear, yeah. That one's also clear, yeah. See if we can do anything with these ones. And you can see that it's not dissolving, not dissolving most of them. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's see if we've got any of them clear. I'm just going to get a, a small resistor because it's got a thinner leg than my uh, desoldering needles have. Okay, so this is just a resistor uh, which has very thin legs on. Yeah, and um, we can push these through these holes. So you can see quite clearly that that one and that one are now clear. Yeah. So one way i thought we could actually do this to do the other ones is to use the resistor which is finer than the desoldering needle so if i stick the resistor into a, into one of the holes and warm it up with a bit of luck i'll be able to push this through is it gonna go no it's not doesn't seem to be quite stiff enough so let's just uh, straighten that out and let's just uh, see whether we can really actually get a resistor leg to go um so we're going to go for this hole, the one at the end, yeah, this one. So I'm going to add a, add a bit of leaded solder to it. So I can get heat into it, yeah. I want to get heat into it. <laughs> and that actually does clear it. Let's have a look. No, it hasn't, but I can get the leg into the into where the hole is yeah so let's see whether or not by getting a bit of leaded solder in and applying some heat i can actually push the resistor through and the idea is that as the resistor goes through the hole the remaining solder should stick to the leg so i'm going to push it in but i'm not going to try and pull it back out again because most likely what will happen is the solder will just stick go back into the hole again let's get some heat so we can actually get this to go through I might need to use this under the microchip so I can see what I'm doing. Let's have a go. Okay, so we're in the microscope now. Um, I'm going to look down the microscope so I can actually see. And let's see if I can actually do this, yeah? So this is where the hole is here. So these are the two which are clear, yeah? Uh, 
Let's do it for this one. I'm sure there's a hole here. No, it looks like there's one there, one there, one here. So there is a hole here. Okay. So we've got some leaded solder in the hole. So we can melt that. And let's, can we push the resistor through the hole? And the answer seems to be no, it's just sticking to it. There you go. So really this is just doing like you would with this soldering needle, but it's fine. this is fine enough to do it, yeah. So that's not going to help us do it that way. Um, okay, let's go for plan B that I had in mind. Just uh, go back to the overhead camera. Hey, you can see me now, guys. I hadn't realised the uh, other camera wasn't pointing anywhere, well, towards the roof. Uh, okay, yeah, so what I thought we might try, I've not done this before. I'm thinking if we can put the smallest nozzle onto the hot air, yeah, and heat this thing with a soldering iron at the highest pressure. If I hold this right down to the board, I'm wondering if I can actually blow the solder through the board out of the hole, yeah. So let's put a bit of paper underneath it so we can see what actually happens, yeah. Um, hot air set at 450 on maximum uh, airflow, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to melt the solder first, and then see if I can actually blow it through the board, yeah? Oh, and the uh, the nozzle fell off. Here you go, hot air. <laughs> as soon as I picked it up, the nozzle fell off. That was, uh, that was handy. So I've not used this little nozzle at all. Just, uh, just stick it back in. Stay in there, yeah? It's a bit of a... doesn't do very good fit, that one. Oh, we'll do the job. Okay, so let's try. So I'm going to heat up the the leaded solder. I'm up to temperature on the hot air now. I'm going to see whether or not I can actually blow this straight through the board. Yeah. No. No, it doesn't have enough force. <coughs> it doesn't have enough force to do it. I, I wondered if it would. Okay, so that's not going to uh, get us anywhere. Um, let's try a plan C. Yeah? So what I'm going to do this time, and I'm going to go for the, the same hole again, yeah? So, so far I have two, uh, which are actually clear of solder, yeah? I have two, two which are actually uh, desoldered. I need to, need to just get my magnifier so I can see where I am. Yeah, there's two at this end, there's a three, yeah? And I'm trying to get the, the other one nearest this end, which basically is the one nearest the edge of the board, yeah? So what I'm going to try and do now, first of all with the soldering iron, yeah? Let's get some solder into that pin, yeah? I'm going to get it melted, and when it's melted I'm going to bash the board against the desk here yeah, to see whether or not I can actually dislodge the solder the idea being it will fall straight through the hole and the answer is no I can't no I can't Okay, maybe one more attempt to see if we can do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> would you believe it? I've done it and I, I uh, left the video on pause <laughs> so you didn't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, We'll, we'll remove another one of them and now I know how to do it uh, using just basic tools I'll show you how it was done see you soon now probably tomorrow because I'm a bit busy today <laughs> I honestly can't believe I did that guys so uh, I desoldered it sorry well it was desoldered I cleaned the holes uh, and I got the camera on pause so you missed it so uh, I've done sold the next one to it, so I'll just show you how I actually did it. I'll just uh, zoom the camera down a little bit. 
So while I was unsoldering the second one, I managed to get a bit of solder back into a couple of holes on the first one. Um, so the way I actually did this, basically it was with the hot air. So I've got it set to 450 degrees, yeah? Maximum airflow. And basically, this is like I tried before with the soldering iron, but using hot air. So it's like method three, but this is method four with hot air, yeah? With a wide nozzle. And what I did is, I warmed it up, then literally just tapped the board against the desk, yeah? Quite firmly. And by doing so, you can see the solder coming onto, onto this paper, yeah? Let's go for the other one. I think that's it, one more. Yeah. There's one hole that's still got soldering. Uh, that's it, right now, what what hole? Still one. That's it, I think. Okay, so um that's how I did it. Uh let's get it under the microscope and have a quick look just to see how well that actually uh, did the job compared to using the uh, the vacuum desoldering tool. Uh, okay, so uh, get the microscope, see if it's working, and let's just have a quick look. Yeah, that's working. That's good. So this is the area of the board. Yeah, uh, and you can see that all the holes are, are now clear. Um, let me get a bit of uh, hot air on this. Sorry, hot air. A bit of flux. Yeah, let's get a bit of flux and just. Uh, Give this area a bit of a clean and then we'll see how well that actually worked out. Okay, so. Okay. Let me uh, look myself down the microscope and just see whether or not all these holes are clear. So I've got a little uh, resistor here, yeah. I'm going to actually just push this. I'll try to tilt the board a bit. There you go. So, oh, glad you stopped behind me. Is okay, let's see. see. Yeah, I just need to adjust the focus slightly and then I'll just. Uh, Adjust it for you as well. Okay, some focus for me. Check yours. It's pretty good. Okay, okay. So yeah, um, that did the job. Uh, that's all we need. That's what we need to do. So uh, you can clearly see that all these holes are now are, are clear. Yeah. You push this through all of them. We didn't uh, strip any pads. There we go. Still a bit warm down this area. Let's turn the board over. Let's have a quick look at the other side. After just the focus, obviously, while I'm doing this one moment. Okay, so there's the other side of the board. Again, all the holes are clean. Um, the solder's out. There's probably just a bit of uh, isopropyl down in this hole. It looks, it looks quite like it might be something in them like this one. Yeah, it's probably just a bit of. Uh, isopropyl alcohol yeah it's clear so okay um that's the ghetto method guys so uh, as promised uh with just using basic equipment so the soldering iron flux leaded soldering hot air and nothing else uh we still managed to do this job yeah and it came out rather nicely okay i uh, hope you enjoyed that video and i'll see you soon in the next one